beginning again These love might be tears, but I recommend Chasing the bag, keep what you had and always keep it wild and kid Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we back with another one today. And we got the beautiful, lovely Miss Tariana with us. How's everybody doing, everybody? I'm doing great today. How are good, you? Good, man. Doing? Good, man. It's early. <laughs> I'm up, though. I'm feeling good. Yeah, I feel the same way. But well, yeah, I'm good, though. It is early. Uh, uh, so I want to hit, hit off something because it's more so recent news on what's going on uh, on Facebook. Kihi Palmer had a post. It was, uh, she. She said, I don't believe in boyfriend or girlfriend. I'm single to marriage. So I wanna know what y'all think about that. Uh, they can go a few different ways. Yeah. But I get what she's saying. Because technically she's uh, not wrong. I get what she's saying, like it's part where you in a relationship, y'all just boyfriend, girlfriend. You grown, you free to do whatever you wanna do. I understand that. Yeah. Uh some people take it as, as soon as we get together. Uh, my goal is marriage anyways, so I'm about to treat the relationship like it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not no controlling stuff, but it's the point to where, you know, we locked in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm here for you, you're here for me, we together. Ain't no other plan around. Yeah. Type of way. What y'all think? I mean, I kind of just, if we together, um, if we both agree that it's open, then it's open. But if we both agree that it's just gonna be us, then it's just us. Yeah, I agree with that, hundred percent. Like I'm sorry, I'm I'm just the type. If I'm in a relationship with you, it's just me and you. Yes. Yeah. There I feel like no outsider should interfere with that. Yeah. Like I said. Yeah. Tunnel vision. Yeah. yeah. I feel that like technically she ain't ain't wrong, but you know everybody relationship they gonna have their boundaries and mm -hmm. yeah. whatnot. So if that's in there, then. You gotta let that person know up front. If that's how you see boyfriend girlfriend says. So that's how I think on that one. My thing is is like say she keeps that like I'm single till marriage. Will she be able to flip the okay, I can do whatever I want with whoever I want once you get married. Will that be able to flip off and she can just turn off all this other stuff that she's been doing? Because if she's doing whatever she wants, if she's in a relationship, acting like she's single how is she gonna be able to turn it off once you get married? You're gonna be used to already I still feel like that. If that's the way, that's the route she's going. I feel like it'll be a hard transition. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what about the male perspective? You into, like you have safe instance. I'm keep on this perspective. So I'm interfering with a person. So if I'm waiting till marriage, why would I say he elf and all having mm -hmm. sex with other people? Yeah. Is that acceptable? I don't think that's acceptable. No. Because I feel like if I mess with you, it should be only you. Yeah. And I understand at a young age, we we hear and we should like talk to other people to get what we want. But me as a female, if I'm talking to only you, it's only going to be you. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I really have to disagree with Kiki Palmer's statement. Yeah. I really 100% yeah. disagree with it. So with that being said, as far as the dating scene these days, how you think it is? It what is, have you been seeing? It is trash. I'm definitely going to say it's trash. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to help everybody. Um, women like me, we always get treated done wrong. I'm not going to say we, we're the saints or anything, but I always attract the dudes who always play me in my face. Um, but overall, it's, I'm definitely going to say it's trash. Yeah. Do you love hard? Yes, I do love hard. I do. That's my issue. Yeah, that's mine too. That's definitely mine. Man. And it's hard, especially around a 20 year old. Nobody wants to commit, which I'm going to say that. Um, so it's basically the same thing I've been seeing in the yeah. 30s. Yeah. No. It's, it's crazy because it's, it's, it's just out there like that. What are some things that you, because you said like no one wants to commit, like what are some things that you wish would be fixed in the dating scene? Like what do you wish would come back or be more normal? Yeah. Um, what I wish that come back is, you know how you said when you talk to someone, it's only going to be you. Mm -hmm. That's very hard to find. Mm -hmm. When I talk to someone, whole time be other people in the picture. So I wish that would be, and also, I wish people would date to marry, cause that's what type of mindset I'm on yep. as, as a twenty year old, which everybody want to have that piece of cake, mm -hmm. and I'm not with that respectfully. So to me, dating to marry is the ultimate goal. I mean, that's all I've known. Yeah, yeah. Cause like. I don't think 
I don't, not for me, I don't know any parent that's like, okay, when you date somebody, you might be with them for like a five months, then next person. I don't think I've met anybody that's like, okay, you'll date for a while, then you'll find the person. I'm like, you date and then the goal is to marry. Like, I've not ever thought about just a revolving door. I feel like back in the day, when, but you heard a lot of men doing this back in the day. You didn't hear about a lot of women doing this. But back in the day when all these men were stepping out, doing all this and doing that, yeah, uh, that's what they was doing. But they still had an old lady they came home to, <laughs> this I and that. Agree with that. Uh, but, but that's where a lot of stuff was going on back in the day. Like women stayed true. Yeah. But nowadays, I don't know what they called it back in the day, but nowadays it's called whole phase. And I think the whole phase and social media and phones have messed relationships mm -hmm. up. I'm definitely going to say the that. whole phase has been going on so long. When something real get there, like now I'm itching because my phone blowing up. You know, because one of the things that's always confused me is like, like dudes will go hoe around dudes and women. Yeah. They'll go hoe they around. Not everybody. But then they have somebody that they truly care about back home, and they're like, "Oh, I want to keep this person as my main." Okay, yeah. why are you hoeing around, exactly. risking it? And you hurt her emotionally because women want to yeah. run off emotions. Yep. So, don't really see that. So I feel like the real old school need to come back. Man and a woman, they build it. I'm saying they working, they taking care of the family. That's what it's about. And you didn't have all the distractions in the way. Mm -hmm. Also, communicating. That's a big, like, communication is people a big are too, part. Yeah. People are too afraid to talk about the serious stuff and have the difficult conversations. Like, you're going to have to have difficult mm -hmm. conversations yeah. if you're going to be with somebody. Yeah. Like, you might not like it, but you're just going to have to have I feel it. like if you can't handle difficult conversations, you can't handle a real relationship. Yeah. And, like, if also people who come out of nowhere and, like, keep their stuff inside and then they just blur it out out of nowhere come in left field I'm like if this is how you already felt we need to speak about it don't just keep it yeah. bottled up till you just explode it and let it out and then that's not really what you meant so now that we're there what else on your mind yeah I feel like communication it also come with comprehension cause mm -hmm. some folks you communicate to them but sometimes just don't get through yeah so no that's true cause yeah. there are some stubborn ass motherfuckers <laughs> like I don't know how many times you can talk to somebody say the same thing and they'll do the complete opposite yeah. Yeah. I, just, I just believe there's been a lot of stuff in play that kind of ruined the relationship scene social media is a big one cause it's, it's a big one to me it's a big one well people want to like show everybody how great their relationship is oh, knowing so it's, it's awful mm -hmm. and yeah. I'm like the biggest relationships that I've seen that are successful they're not on social media you'll see the pictures of them together here and there but they're not actively trying to prove to social media that they're happy yeah. I got a statement I wish people young ladies I'm going to say this just because a man posts you does not mean he's being faithful towards you true like people real deal with thinking the whole time he could be in somebody else's inbox trying to get at them or sending them a friend request that's very disrespectful and I see this a lot too many times in this yeah. Not how it's supposed to go. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing is, I don't trust nothing I see on social media because I'm like, you can look like you live in the best life and you could be awful and depressed and dirt yeah. poor, but you looking like you're rich. Yeah. So that's how I view it. I'm like, my relationship is good based on if it's actually good, not what people in my social media think it is. Right. Yeah. Uh, one way if I hate it, that's like social media is like you got life, life goes, couples goes, and like. I don't really mention that because you watching everybody else and you probably make your own version of love, mm -hmm. own yeah. version of uh, yeah. what do you think your life goes through? So I feel like it, social media in a way makes people feel like they miss out on certain so forth. They life should be that way and they create your own life. There's too many people trying to keep up with the next person or yeah. try to be better than the next person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, that ain't what it's all about. Like, I'm sorry. I, like you've said many times, I could be a millionaire. But if I like you, you work at Sonic. Well, you just work at Sonic. Yeah. I don't yeah. care your yeah. pay status. I don't care about your money. Yep. And so else that I um I talked about this at work before. I understand how you know women want these six figures, men, but they don't bring nothing to the table. So how can you want that when you don't have anything to offer? Yeah. If you go, well, this should be like a balance. Then trying to over, you know, do it. Yeah. Well, going in, uh, he makes six figures. I don't make nothing. We good. Now go in thinking, okay, he makes six figures. I make a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he can motivate me or teach me what to do to get me up there where he is. Mm -hmm. That's well, how you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can be thinking about stuff like that. 
Like, that's they my come thing. in wrong. It's like, because that's another thing that I've never understood is like when people get in the dating scene, they're also like, well, he has a good. No, I don't look at. Okay, are you a good person? I don't look at your job. That money comes later. I gotta actually know I can stand to be around you, and be with you as a person because the money will come. But are you a good enough person for me? Yeah. Like, are we gonna actually build something, or am I just gonna waste time? I need to know you ain't dropping a bag, calling in to go have fun every weekend, not caring about the bills or none of that. Mm -hmm. Or I need to know you can handle what's on your plate. Or somebody just wakes up one day because I I know somebody at one of my old jobs. They were just like, oh, I just don't want to go to work today. And they called out, and I'm like, you just wasted a whole day that you could be getting paid because you just you don't yeah. want to go just because yeah. you're not feeling it. I'm guilty of that one. Yeah, we, 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 we've all done it before. <laughs> like I, but the, when it's consistent, though, okay. is when yeah. it's a problem. Like yeah. This person consistently will call out. Yeah. I mean, like I said, if, if you know your bills, you know what's extra, this and that, and you can afford to call out, that's cool. And then some days we just don't feel like getting out of that bed. Yeah. I'm saying days like that too. But say uh, a little female hit me up, I'm gonna spend some time with me, you're gonna have to wait till I get off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you gotta wait till I, I gotta go make that money first so I can pay these bills. Yeah. So maybe I want some extra to take you out on a date. Cool. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta go work first. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about two good people with just not the right fit? I believe in that. I believe that. Elaborate with them. What do you feel that? It's like you got two people good, like they, yeah. they would make a good relationship, yeah. just not at that time. It's bad time. Right, people wrong be time. Bad time or just not right fit. Y'all got two different outlooks on life the way y'all go. Yeah. want to go, and they make separate. So. That too. Uh, but then I do believe in if it's for you, it'll come back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, Tupac said that too. You know <laughs> <laughs> I mean, kind of like O's always said. It might be the right people, just not the right timing. And yeah. if it's like, like you were saying, if it's meant to work, it'll, they'll come yeah. back. Yeah. What you saying to come back so you get a second chances? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I did that. It didn't really steer me in the wrong direction. So I feel like for a woman to give a dude a second chance, you need to be on your A game you know, for me to keep taking me back. If I'm allowing the same behavior that I ran away from, I shouldn't co come back to that. Yeah. If I, you did some type of improvement within yourself and want better for our relationship, then maybe I can take you yeah. back. But no other sense. than that, no. There's second chances, third chances, you know what I'm saying? whatever. You keep going until you get it right. But like she's saying, you got to be improving. You got to be improving on so it's the stuff you know what I'm saying, that won't work. So you'll give the chances as long as you keep seeing that girl. Yeah. Yes. Okay. No, I respect that. Then again, I'll be looking like, you just played me. So why would I want to take that back? So I feel like that would be still living in my brain. Yeah. So it's like, oh, that's kind of questionable yeah. too. So you saying that like, you're going to take that into consideration of them being accountable on what they did do? It also depends on like, yeah, what, what happened, yeah. yeah. Like you said, we was good and just bad timing to where it just fell out of place. Mm -hmm. I get that. But there was something that was done for it to be a big fallout. And that's gonna have to be something that's been taken into consideration. Yeah. What happened? You know, that is true. Cause I mean, I will admit, like, if something bad happened that made y'all fall out, that I think will always linger. Well, they could yeah. they could do it again, or yeah. like, cause when you first get back together, it's gonna be a whole different scene. You know what I'm saying? Your mind gonna be going like, I gotta watch this person. Mm -hmm. All type of stuff. That's why I feel like if some people do eventually try to go back, they should just like start off as just those friends but like not friends with benefits as mean fucking <laughs> but like y'all hang out it <laughs> and then y'all well yeah eventually yeah. but like not just leading the fucking but like y'all hang out like y'all are dating yeah. there's no label and y'all build that trust back up yeah. to where if you can prove that the old behaviors is gone then okay now the second chance can happen because yeah. y'all showed each other the proof and I do feel like men only come back to see if they got hurt so I feel like that's not a good reason to take somebody. Is that like, uh, like, like a ego thing? Like, it could be. Yeah. Just trying to see if they still got it or yeah. something like yeah, that. Yeah. Like, a, like I can just call them. They just wasting time. You know, and that's one thing that piss you off. Well then, <laughs> and then also it could backfire because then say, okay, well, I can just call this person because I know I can get a booty call real quick. And then that person becomes crazy because they think you want something with them again. Yeah. 
Yeah, you so can't, I mean, can't be playing with people here. So I mean, it could it could work, and then it yeah, can't. Yeah, a lot of people be out here playing with people here, and then they don't understand when you feel like somebody been playing with you, then you go off, mm -hmm. then you go crazy, and then you they be like, "What I do to you? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean what you did to me? Mm -hmm. And now's my time to go off because." You've been playing with me, I'm playing with my head, Game playing games. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm the crazy one. Okay, I'm gonna be that crazy one because you know, yeah. look what got me there. Mm -hmm. So. Because men be uh, making women crazy. They don't want to say that. I, yeah, I believe do. it. I know <laughs> that. I know that. I know. Certain behaviors, which certain behavior, like me, I had to act out in that way, which I never acted out in that way because I really feel for somebody really hard, and the outcome was a bad outcome. Yeah. My old lady crazy, she crazy. <laughs> but that's why I tell them, like I play a big role in that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You do get people ample warning. You know what I'm so. saying? I play a big role in that. So I ain't gonna be here like, oh, she crazy, crazy. I don't know what's wrong with her. No, I know what's wrong with her. Yeah, I know what's wrong with her. Like so. that's well, one thing I want to hit on, actually, because since we have you, I actually do want to get your perspective. How do you feel about the whole Will and Jada situation going on? How do you feel about her just? Constantly keep on saying stuff about their relationship and him not even trying to like say chill or anything When it comes to them, I kind of don't really look at them like that But mm -hmm. I feel like Will is I feel like how he's saying it's kind of he gives off feminine like how women will respond yeah. or act out I feel like he just needs to leave that alone because she's doing nothing but embarrassing you so That's something and also they have an open marriage. I would say that's, That's what it like, yeah. So I'm saying, we don't know all the details. Yeah. I don't even know what's been put on the internet. Because I heard open marriage, and I heard they've been divorced. Yeah. And then I heard, like, they weren't. They were just on a break. But, like, but I haven't heard nothing from Will. This is all just what I've heard and from that's another. That's another thing, too, you know, because you got these big celebrities. Yeah. So, it, yeah, to me, I feel like it's different. I mean, yeah, they're the same people as us, but it's a difference, too. Like, yeah, she could be saying what's on her mind or whatever, and people picking it up. Let me throw this on there and throw this on there. Mm -hmm. And he could be like, you know, I really handle this at home yeah. instead of putting it out there in the open. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm going to look like a punk because I ain't saying nothing. Yeah. But I'm going to say what I got to say at home. Or these people going to take these words out of this and this words out of this and put it together. Make it look like I said this to home and then that too. Mm -hmm. So it's one of them things. That's my whole thing is just if y'all been divorced, just settle it privately because like if if honestly if she's doing it just to see how fe people are going to react my god you, clearly by now you should know they they're tired of hearing you expose whatever will didn't do or whatever will does because if i got that much money my kids are taken care of me and my old lady split okay then y'all can say what y'all want out there mm -hmm. it's not gonna hurt my feelings i'm good my kids good we all right you know, my kids know what's up. That's all that matters. You know, it just people handle stuff different. Yeah. You see how mine was. I felt like I would play with, and I had to lash out for a little bit. So, people handle stuff different. Yeah. Uh, so, we got you as a female guest. Uh, if of course, I want to get on to certain females, but we just ain't had an opportunity to. Uh, I want to know how would you handle cat calling? If they have to get it. Break that down. Yeah, break it down. The, the cat calling. What's like you just walking down the street and dude like trying to find a good Hey, let's try to let me holler. That happened okay. to me a lot of times. Uh, I do find it very disrespectful because it's the way you approach someone. Yeah. And I don't get it because some people, some women like that. Mm -hmm. Where they looking for that? Cause then I'm gonna like put this on. I'm put this on. Cause I know. <laughs> and, so and that's, I'm like, and that's why I'm like COVID. And you know, who knows? And up. see, that's why I'm like, where certain dudes gotta know before they do it who they're talking to. Cause like, like you said, some girls, that's what they want. They want mm -hmm. you to say, it. but then someone like you, they I, find it disrespectful yeah. and they don't like it. I overall and I think see that in my job, cause they don't come to me in no disrespectful way. They come to me with respect. I know they might like me in a low key way, but they don't come off. Cause I feel like it's the way I approach myself. It's the way I hold a conversation. So I feel like now, men don't come to me in that type of like man. Yeah. Maybe probably like, um, had like probably a year or two ago, probably. But so let's say, um, somebody wants to come at you kind of like that, but not in a disrespectful way. How would you prefer them to do it where it's not catcalling as disrespect, but they're just like complimenting you and letting you know? I would like them to walk up to me or say, you know, walk up to me. I feel like catcalling, man. Um, 
you automatically to me you automatically throw yourself in the category of player. Yeah. Okay. I douche. I was like, you you ran that street. If you did it to her, you did it to somebody else. Yeah. yeah. Well, my talk. And if it worked with somebody else and you did it to her, you just got two right there. Mm-hmm. So no one called you know special either. So I'm like, my thing is just like, I just see it kind of douchey because like, who just randomly just yells like, hey y'all, little Sean, let me fuck. Like, who yeah. just randomly yells shit like Could that? Could they know it worked with some people? Yeah. And, and it's crazy. And but then I'm also like, if it works with you, I also in the back of my head, tell me something about both of y'all. Well. Your standards and how you see yourself. If you're yeah. accepting yeah. somebody just to talk to you like that, you don't even value yourself like oh. that. And I feel like certain men know who to run the game on. Too. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So. I want to ask you. You say you would like to be approached and walk up to like, how should they approach you? Because you're a female, you may may not feel safe in certain areas, something like that. I would just probably want to do is like say, hey, I want like mm -hmm. something casual. And then see how it goes. Yeah. Okay, so here's a big one. Uh, if I, if I okay. still keep it on topic, I want to know how how y'all would take cat calling if y'all was like even as a male getting cat calling. Uh, I mean, I mean <laughs> honestly, it's still kind of weird. Yeah, it is. Like, cause I was in like the city one time. Like, I was just on a trip. And it happened, and like I was like, "Oh, thank you," but in the back of my head, I'm like, "You just yelled out, I got a like, nice ass or some shit." Like, yeah. one, this shit's flat. I'm wearing <laughs> jeans for first, so you're lying. And two, it's like, why do you feel like you gotta yell that? One, you don't know how old I am. Two, because I'm a complete stranger. This was like before I tattooed before, but like you don't know my age, yeah. so you're just yelling. And then you don't know me. You don't know how I'm gonna react. Cause like, let's say you say that to somebody and they not all there mentally. Oh, well, okay. You think I love both? Then they come at like, it's not. There's too many. Well, there's too many things that could happen in my head where I'm like, it's not worth it. And I just find it still weird for me. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's a lot of different ways. It can come as a man. Like, I've heard. Damn, he fine. Like she might be in a car talking to somebody else, and I walk by. Okay, I, I take that as a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> take that as a compliment. Appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but coming the same way you come in female, I bet he got a big dick. I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me. Yes. I'm like, we ain't gonna go that route. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I, I get a hello. How you doing? What's your name? Something. Yeah, you know what real. I'm saying? So it's the same too. But me, I brush it off quick. And keep walking. You know what I'm saying? But these women, it's like a man. They damn near harassing yeah. when they walking off. Like they don't hear them. They get louder and try to still try to get their attention, bro. Move on. And I feel like, I feel like there is a double standard. Like it's not good either way. But I do feel like we hear more about women who get catcalled than men. And I just think that's just the double standard yeah. as it is. Cause a lot of things. Don't get me wrong. It's not right either way. But I feel like if we address women doing it then you should address men just like yeah. you should address men being toxic and women being toxic i feel like all this should be addressed on both yes. parties like it yeah. shouldn't be like oh men are the only ones cat calling and women's are the victims yeah, and men ain't the only ones thirsty either. yeah like that's the thing is yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with that 100%. If I get cat called, I might turn into a little female by two seconds and go back to normal. What like, you mean for like you going what you gonna do? I mean, it might get a little, little, in, <laughs> little gushy inside, whatever they call it. A little gushy inside. Make it feel good. Yeah. That what you mean? Man? I mean, it might be. You still, no, nah, because that's still crazy for you to just say those things. But, yeah. you know. So it just depends on what they say. Yeah. Like, everyone, everyone, everyone thing is like, it's nice to know that you got it, but you ain't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm gonna smile and keep going, yeah. but well, I ain't about to entertain what you just said. Kind of where she was coming, like, she knows it's respectful sometimes, yeah. but it's still like, why the hell do you, like, think that's okay just to say that out loud without, like, hello, what's yeah. up, or, like, even. Because some people, you know what I'm saying, they waiting on their reaction. They waiting to see if you're gonna do their reaction. And I'm definitely gonna say it also depends as a woman, your outfit. I'm definitely yeah. gonna say that. Because yeah. I remember some years ago, I went just like this, no more. Um, so I went to OCO and I had this like one piece on and it was like it's kind of short and I have a shape and some dude who's like that ain't fat and it's like when I think about that that was very disrespectful then again my outfit kind of 
can get that's, what's that's supposed to That's still one of them things, you know, you be like, damn, you say that to yourself. <laughs> like, damn. But you don't say it out loud, you no. know? Because my thing is, is, like, first thing I would think is, I say something like that, you could get hit. Yeah. Straight up punch, and I'm like, then what are you going to do? There's two reactions you're going to do. you either going to fight back, and then you got a bigger situation on yep. your hands now, or you're just going to take it. And then... Depending on who your circle is, if you already cat called, your circle is probably already a bunch of douchebags. So now you gotta hear them say, "Oh, you got hit and didn't do shit. You got your." So it's just like you lose either way. Yeah. It's crazy out here, man. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the way these, the way these people be dressing, man. Especially, you know. I feel like it's important. That, like people don't really hit on that. Line. Like, I got female friends who like, why men be talking me this way? I'm like, that's the way you present yourself. Yeah. So, Cause I do feel how you present yourself is how men come towards you. And then it's the same with uh, you could be in a relationship and never see this person wearing nothing like this, but as soon as y'all break up, she go to the club, she wearing this, you be like, I ain't never seen them clothes. Where were mm -hmm. them clothes at? We was in a relationship the whole time. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, who thirsty? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who the thirsty one? I do want to hit on some though, since we're talking about like standards and everything. How do you feel about? the list of places you can take a girl on the first date. That you can't take a girl on the first date. Oh, you date. can't? That, that list that came out. I did see that list. Had simple places on it. Yeah. It was dumb. I'm definitely going to say that it was. It also depends on what date, what type of date you're trying to go on. Yeah. If you're trying to get something quick, fast, and go home, then I feel like if it's like fast food, then it shouldn't matter. But if it's like for you to dress up, I feel like the standards should kind of be kind of a little higher. Yeah. But their list was dumb. No problem. Because yeah. I'm like, man, I ain't no disrespect to women. I know a lot of women love to eat. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, nah, I'm going to take it. Believe that. <laughs> I'm taking it. Take it. But look where we live at. Look where we, live. we ain't got that many options. Yeah. Yeah. And as a first date, I can't see myself shooting you out of town. No. That might make you uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? That might make me uncomfortable because I'm like, I don't know you. Now I so, got to think of what we're talking about on this road. You know what I'm saying? That too. <laughs> so I'm like, we already ain't got that many places to live where we live. Mm -hmm. But the places that was on that list is it's the same places you're going to go to if I didn't take you on the first date. These are your same favorite places you're going to go to if you just, ooh, it's Friday, let me go out and go eat. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's different when we go on that first date because now this is a date. You ain't by yourself. So yeah, you still going to enjoy going to them places. And my thing is just like, but like you, said, sir, you take somebody on the first date, let's say you do take them to a very expensive, nice restaurant, but y'all don't know anything about each other. They may not like anything on that menu, or they may hate it. That's another thing too. I've been in situations where it's like, I'm like, where you want to go? I'm saying, yes, I'm paying for everything. Yes, I'm taking you, mm -hmm. but I want your input too. Cause yeah. A lot of people like be like surprised, and I'm like, yeah, I feel like I don't, I don't like no that. Cause money. if that's the case, I could just take myself. Yeah, if I, yeah. I, really <laughs> I don't want to waste no money on neither one of our ends. Like, if we get there, I like everything I'm in, and you don't. Okay, the, the only that's, time I failed right there. If we get there, you like everything I'm in, I don't. The only time I could see doing like, okay, yeah, just surprise me is if I know you, I yep, know what yep, you like, yep. I know how to judge off of uh -huh. what could work. That's the only way I could see surprises. First dates, no, I yep. don't. I just found out your last name. I don't know what you like to eat. Exactly. Like you could be allergic to something. I'm not <laughs> trying to yeah. kill you. Yeah. Exactly. What if you take to the restaurant? You know she's not gonna know nothing on me, but you like aiming to put it on. She might, she might look at you differently. I don't know. I mean, but see, even that, on the first date, I'm like, it's going to be casual yeah. because I'm, I don't want you to think, oh, I'm taking you to this really nice place because you think, oh, I'm just this big baller who can have all this money and that's yeah. all yeah. I'm trying to show you. But then also, I'm <clears> like, <throat> well, if I take you to a cheaper place, are you going to be pissed because, oh, you're taking me here because it's affordable? So I'm like, if it's just a nice, casual, casual place, I'm like, you can just actually get to know the person yeah. and not have to worry about, oh, they think I'm just flexing on them because I have money and it's an expensive meal. Yeah. Like, that's my thing. How do you feel about that? First dates. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you. Women don't require dates like that no more. Like you can just walk in there. Just. I feel like as women nowadays, I'm definitely gonna have to say, include myself. Yeah. We need to hold our standards more higher, yeah. way more higher, because so we can track completely better than we do. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I understand that. Because I can tell you, I ain't had many first dates just because, like, it ain't allowed. Oh, they, it's allowed. You just I'm about to say, it. not allowed. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> but it's, Who the hell banned first dates? Man. If, I feel like if you're going to be on the internet screaming why men don't do these things, you can need to require those things for that to be met. What? Like for you to change men overall, because they got to shift to your standards. Well, that's if you're going to do things for the opposite sex. So. Uh, that's, that's, an, it, that's another thing that I saw is unrealistic like goals and standards in life like there was I was watching this one video and they were saying what's the amount a man should be making by his late 20s and about 80% of the women that they asked said in the millions and yeah. I had a discussion like I said so months ago you know how I just brought up women want have these high expectations mm-hmm. when it comes to men. I want a six figure man. Is you a six figure woman to be even trying to say anything about that? Yeah. When it comes to a man in your job, I truly don't care. As long as you're making some type of money, like mm-hmm. real deal. Like, and responsible with yes. it. Because you can make <laughs> yes. six figures, but you yeah. can blow it too. Yeah, yes. yeah. Because, like, I'm sorry, I know plenty of doctors that make more than me, but I probably got more in the bank account than they do. Yeah. Just because they think they have the money coming in, but they blow it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like look at all the celebrities that have gone into debt. Like Mike Tyson, God love him, he's he's back on a good path now. He's you know got his money straight, but dude was buying tigers and then went completely broke. How? Not smart. Spending more than what was coming Same in. Thing, people want to be rich, but they ain't gonna know how to manage the money. My boy yeah. was like, buying people not. to just hang out with him. I'm like, if you spend more than you make, you're not gonna have it. No, you're not. But stuff like that, I question your circle. Cause why ain't nobody holding you accountable? Why ain't nobody yeah. trying to but I mean, he's, make you see it through? But he's buying, like he's giving folks money just to be in his circle. I'm like, you buying friends? I'd rather just be lonely. Yeah, I'd be lonely. I'd be me, lonely. myself, and I. And my thoughts <laughs> in my head. I'll be best friends. So since we got a female on, um, I got a question. We've talked about it before amongst ourselves. But uh, how do you feel when you see? Other females on Snapchat, Facebook, and saying, oh, "I got to pay for these nails by myself." That's crazy. When they when they don't have no man, it's like they itching for other people to jump in the inbox. Like, I got you. I pay for my own stuff. I yeah. never like real deal have nobody, no man pay for my own stuff. So I feel like women always want to have their hand out. Like I see this like do it yourself. Then when you have a man, then maybe he wants to do it. For yeah, you. yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm like, man, you got 20 people that hopped in the inbox trying to pay. Mm-hmm. 19 of them thirsty. When you the one put out there, who gonna pay for my nails? Don't everybody all speak at once? Yeah. Like, my, people about to hit you up. I'm sorry, my thing too, and that's just how I look. Anybody begging on social media for stuff, in my opinion, is just it's tacky and trashy, in my opinion. Cause why are you begging? Yeah. We grown. Like, I could understand, like, if you, you know, a seven-year-old and you happen to have a phone and you're like, oh, who wants to? Okay, that's that. It's like some of the same stuff women do when a man do it. There's something wrong with it. Yeah. That's I'm like, how we hear lately. Oh, this dude, he got problems. He don't hear as it. You doing it too. You did last week. It's just trashy either way. My, that's that's how I look at it. Like, any, like, I was talking to an you know, um, old friend of mine. She's like, oh, well, it's not. It's it's nothing wrong if we ask. And I'm like, why? Because you a girl? <laughs> No, it's it's begging's begging. Like you begging either way. Yeah. You got either some tits or you got a penis. You begging. Yeah. Like it's it's trashy. I feel like that's fault to men though, because we giving that to make them. But I mean, if you oh, but say the men who do give it, but if they don't, oh, you're an asshole. You're not. You don't yeah. care. Or you, you broke. Did, yeah, yeah, you broke. Yeah. So yeah. then you're a piece of. You're either a simp if you do give it, or you're a jackass if you don't. Yeah. But something either way. So I mean, somebody had to give her that for her to ask for that attitude. With that same perk, they need to be going back to the same somebody. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you like, know what I'm saying? Like, and that's the thing is, you will find the people who will do it for you, yeah. but you shouldn't call anybody just broke or this because they don't want to. I'm sorry, I don't know you. Why am I paying for your nails? Yeah, that's the same as um, you've been in a relationship, your car break down. But you automatically want your girlfriend to fix it. Just because y'all together and then you feel like that's what she's supposed to do. Uh, no. Yeah. No, as an adult, yeah. you're supposed to take care of your own stuff. Yes, you can ask your other half for some mm-hmm. help. 
But that, that's the thing. Why well, just say ask? Don't just expect. Yeah, don't just expect. Oh, you gotta do this because you're my man. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you don't do it, I'm gonna let another man do it. I'm sorry. That I ain't had go. I can't read your mind. Yeah, that right. ain't had go. I don't. I don't know. That. Just like that post I made. I, I reposted a picture last night. It had the dude and the woman laying in the bed, and then she had a little thing around her saying, "I'm still short on my rent." The little bonus. Yeah. Nice. Said, I'm still short on my rent. I'm like, it's a lot of things wrong with that picture. Mm -hmm. Okay. First, I think that's something y'all should have discussed before y'all got in that bed and just did whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now you just did whatever. Now you expect him to help you because he just hit it. Y'all need to discuss that outside the bedroom and go from there. Mm -hmm. And for one, don't even be just expecting somebody to help you, or don't think you're just about to give it up to somebody so they can help you. Another thing that help I, should be given. Yeah. You shouldn't be one sided. Yeah. Another thing that I think needs to change is folks going to their friends during arguments. Why are you running to your people when I'm we, very guilty of this when we talk? I believe, I believe we all do it, but some of us do it to vent, and others do it to see what the other person got to say back. To give you advice on what you should do. See, I can take venting because, like, I'll yeah. say, I've vented to y'all before, yeah. and I expect y'all to vent to me. Yeah. But it's when you're letting your friends influence your yeah. relationship. Exactly. I don't. I don't I like do that. I do believe it. Um, you shouldn't always have your friend in your relationship. Yeah. Can. Like we can vent all day. Hey, girl, you need to leave him, or you need to take him for everything he got. I'm like, that's a good idea. No. <laughs> like, just like yeah, I come to y'all to vent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I already know what I'm doing, but I just need to get it out so I don't yeah. blow up on somebody. <laughs> yeah. I'm not coming for y'all. Right, you need to leave her. I'm not coming for that. No, Vin, you, Vin, you can do all day, but it's, it's when you're like, oh, girl, you he's better off. He, there's a new dude right now. Nah. Yeah, this, one, this one better for you right here. Yeah. Like, what you But mean? if you have real friends, they should tell you if that's good for your night. Yeah. Sometimes I do feel like my my circle, they gonna tell me what I need to hear and not what I want to. Yeah. And I feel like because you got the right circle, whatever yeah. they say is coming from the heart. Mm -hmm. But I also feel like if you got the right circle, they'll approach it when you're in a better mindset. Say you and your man just got into a fight, the right circle is gonna be like, all right, take a beat, calm down. When you can get right set of mind and actually think about everything rational, the wrong set of friends are gonna be like, oh, well, leave his bitch at. It's gonna that's the first thing gonna come out, yeah. So like. Your true friends, because like like y'all have done for me, uh, there's been days where I'm like, man, fuck this, I ain't, I'm done, and they're like, calm down, settle down, talk to them when your mind's right, and you can actually think. We spent countless hours <laughs> sitting down talking to each other like that, yeah. and nobody was bashing the per person we were talking about. Yeah. That's how it's supposed to be. Like, just let it out, man, get it out, so you don't blow up. You know what I'm saying? Get your mind right, and then figure it out from there. Oh yeah. Uh, one thing I'm curious on is why. Female who in healthy relationships talk to the friends ain't in a relationship or not in a healthy one. And then to them and take their advice. That's a great question. That really is. Like I'm sorry. Or I would say in some in or different lanes, aka whole friends. Those are the type of people I'm not gonna listen to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know I know people who they they partners beat on each other. And they trying to get related. And first of all, you hit each other. I'm not taking a advice from y'all. <laughs> then you got the ones where you sitting around them, and they talking about their friends and what their friends need to do. And you be like, yeah, they. It sounds like a good thing. Mm -hmm. But when you're around your friends, a whole different, whole different time. <sighs> mm -hmm. So I'm like, you just gave them good advice right here. Now you're around her. You like, fuck him. This and that. This like, that ain't what you were just saying. It's because those conversations they don't want to have. As, as a real friend, you gotta handle that business. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but true friends are gonna at some point you're gonna be irritated with your friends. You're yeah. gonna be mad at your friends. You're gonna hear something that you don't want to hear. That's a friend. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah, a true you gotta be strong-minded too. Yes. <laughs> so if you come to the event and you, I um, mean, you leave, leave her, leave her, you in your mind gonna be like, nah, she tripping. So I ain't about listening to what she's saying. Mm -hmm. I know what I need to do. I'm just coming to let off some steam. Yeah. So you already gonna know in your mind. I ain't about listening to her. She, she on some other stuff. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, no. You gotta know how to do that too. You dev, like, I'm sorry, I don't want my friends to just. Oh yeah, no, that's good. Yeah, yeah. I don't need yes men around. I need somebody yeah. that that's stupid. What yeah. are you doing? Or like how you've done before, bro? Well, damn, man, ain't gonna come across and be like that stupid. <laughs> well, I mean, not like that's crazy. Not yeah. that's stupid. Crazy. But I mean, like that's crazy. But like yeah. Zach's done before. Yeah. Like just come in and just like not telling you what you need to do, but like, hey, you know, I, yeah. I've noticed this. Yep. You know, chill or like yeah. just and people be there. have a lot. I see nowadays people have friends, 
friends, they don't tell them what they need to hear. It's tell them more like once. Yep. Yes. And I feel like that's the issue. That's not no friend. No. That's why I keep my circle small and my friends that I do have, they tell me what I need to hear. Mm-hmm. And put me on game. So I take it into consideration. We're not it depends. Uh, I don't ask how often you go to like male advice if you got all the, all the all people the or male friends you may go to. In my job, I work with male dominant, okay. so I do get like different perspectives on certain things. Okay. And you could tell the ones that's actually yes. there for you, are looking out for you. <laughs> and you do have those the sometimes ones that just you got work out, watch out for them work people because yeah. they <laughs> you can't trust some of these men at yeah. work. Yeah. Uh, how do you take in like advice from the opposite sex? I try to listen from now of them on me type yeah. of aspect because yeah. a lot of them do if you're not really I feel like a lot of people in my job really like me yeah. but it's not this one it's not never going to go that wrong yeah. Yeah. I do I'm gonna take some type of advice but I'm not I'm like, no, yeah. no. Cause it's, as a man it's, you got a lot of different ones when it comes to workplace you got the ones yeah they might want you but they still gonna give you the best advice because they like hey that relationship's good for she need to keep it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It can be ten years later and it might be my turn. Yeah. I'm not about to bullshit her right now. So I can get it right now. No. You got those, you got the ones that gonna be like, hey, yeah, I like her, so she only be one who she with. Yeah. So I'm about to tell her some bullshit. <laughs> so maybe it can be my turn quick, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like yeah. that. So yeah. you do gotta watch out. Yeah, you do gotta watch you out. Def- you definitely gotta watch out. But as far as being a male, taking female advice, that's a good thing too. Yeah. Yeah. Being a woman taking male advice, that's a good thing too, because that's who we looking for advice about, yeah. about a male, about a woman. How they you think, know, yeah. how they move. So listening to other people, you really going to tell how y'all think. Yeah. You really going to tell how that people think. So you be like, okay, I get it, I understand now. Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. And I'm coming at like, I feel like there's some points where women lose is when, uh, like, they conscious of what they know, what they should be doing, but they let them feel them take over. And so a lot of that situation they don't want to be in or don't want to play out that way, let it play out. No, I feel that. I knew somebody that a situation came up, a hard situation. They get toxic and defensive. And after whatever blew up, a couple days later, they back to like, damn. I just turned that sideways and now I lost this. See, that's where you have to like, kind of how I was saying, you got to like take a beat. Like, if you and your partner get into a fight, this is how I've always viewed it. If like me and my person get into an argument, we both need to be away from each other. We need to get our minds right, take a beat, because if we're to the point where we're just saying shit, one of us is gonna say something stupid, not even yeah. meaning to. So it's better if you take that beat, you get away from each other, calm down, get level-minded, so then you can actually go back in and actually yeah. talk as adults. And then a lot of people don't go back in and talk as adults after that too, because you, you yourself, you took that beat. So you like, I ain't about to keep playing with this because it's really gonna blow up. Mm-hmm. When this person blew it up already, but you know, you're like, no, I'm t- gonna take my beat. Yeah. So now when they realize that's what they should have done, they were like, well, he didn't care. Yeah. He didn't fight when I was doing all this. No. So it's, it's, it be all messed up right yeah. there. Then you be like, well, it wasn't meant to be no way because he didn't care or this and that. And you just lose something anyway. Like, that, like, no, it's not that I don't care. It's I'm angry. I knew when to stop. I'm irritated. <laughs> you know, like, the last I thing I need to, to do is want to argue. Yep. Like, like, some people just ain't. Arguing type, mm-hmm. but I just want to talk. Yeah. We're gonna talk it out. I'm not about to argue that. We're gonna talk it out. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah. But since I'm not arguing it out like you, then it, oh, it ain't the same. I'm not fighting. Mm-hmm. I'm not about to argue. If I ain't got to, I'm not gonna do it. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie. I got a few female friends who like I can talk to them like. So what you gonna do with the situation? Well, yeah, I feel this is such and like. What if they? Make link up and do they whatever. I hit them back and like how I go, I fold it. I'm like, eh, god damn. <laughs> 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 It's yeah. like, I'll be frustrated yeah. for them trying to see and it. And then I'll I be understanding too when they say it too, because I'm like, no, no one was in that relationship but y'all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, we were hearing stuff on the outside, but nobody was really in there but y'all. Yeah. So when people get back with each other and then three, four times, I'll be like, okay, I get it, I understand. Y'all trying. Yeah. Y'all trying to better yourself for this and that. But I definitely understand that. Mm-hmm. It's hard out here, man. <laughs> but before we kick out of here, you got anybody you want to shout out or any social medias you want to drop? I don't. Not at the moment. Not at the moment. 
Let's see, I don't think I got nothing. You said you got your social media you want to put out there? Or? You said what again? Like your own socials? Oh, my name is Teriana Gray. Yes. And then just all the regular, like Facebook, Instagram? I don't have Instagram, but Facebook, yeah. My Snapchat is Teriana.Gray. Come correct. Yes. <laughs> yes. We're too grown out here. <laughs> We got anything? Not at the moment. Um, I'm still trying to figure out these little details, but I don't want to say anything before I can. But besides uh, that, grab, grab, feet. So, yeah, yeah. You got anything? Um, we can try to do the Christmas giveaway. Uh, we can start that right after Thanksgiving. Right after Thanksgiving. Right Thanksgiving, we're gonna start the Christmas uh giveaway kickoff. So. I do have some questions for y'all. Okay. okay, what made y'all come up with A70 Podcast? Oh, man. When we first started. The process. <laughs> yeah, we first started the process. It took us like a month out to just sit here and talk and talk and talk to each other about events and stuff. So I'm like, man, we need to put our stuff out there because it might help people. Yeah. So when we started setting everything down, setting everything up, we came up with Talk That Talk. So I'm like, all right, let's do the YouTube, get the logo made. I got the logo made for you. <laughs> I get on YouTube. Put all our stuff in. Somebody already got it. Yeah, so we like, so we like, dang. <laughs> we do all our research right there. So we like, sat around for like a whole day coming over names. Every single name we came up. Type you. it in. It's there. I had like fifty. Yeah, I had about fifty. I and finally like, just started getting on YouTube and just actually typing the names that so, they were coming. So I'm sitting here like, you know what? We John Burr A seven O. I don't see that nowhere. So we're gonna do the A seven O for sure. So what's next? Yeah. And we tried everything else. I'm oh like, man, social club. So, so I was like, man, we're going to do some stuff out here with A70, get some people on, a lot of people from the community, and we'll go from there. So, A70 Social Club, what we came with. And what's the purpose behind it? The purpose behind it originally was to give places, give people a place to do shout outs, like shout out to anything in the community, uh, anything that's going on in the community. So, be put out there for other people to know about dates and stuff like that. Uh, people that wasn't well known to get their stuff out there to promote it, okay. or even just come in and talk. So, yeah. then I think so, it'd be cool because we can let people talk in like in local areas, so you may see their face, and, or you may already know them. Yeah. So, yeah, we got we got a lot of shy people. You know what I'm saying, That's why I tell them you know, when we get on here, let's just be yourself. You know, if your camera shy, you just work your way in. Oh, yeah. Stuff you like that. Start so, from yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I was, I was bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, we started. We started. We all had stuff going on. Yeah. All of us. I was, I was, only, I was the only one talking. <laughs> yeah. The only one talking. And I was sick. So I got, I got bronchitis for like first two months. I'm coughing all through episodes. I'm like, sorry, y'all. And I keep talking this and that. But yeah. Then they started opening up. They started talking more. So I'm like, it's working. Nice. So, if you would have told me I would be opening most of these episodes, I would have said, you a liar. You a liar. I was always opening, <laughs> closing everything. I was like, Logan, do this. He didn't. I was like, man, I liked it. You so knew what it was. Yeah. So we started rolling with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we really had to get that comfortable. So yeah. it's been working. It's, it's been going good. Take a little, take a little something. Yeah. <laughs> so we've been, we've just been trying to get better at everything and build ourselves up. And then we really about to come out with the community. Now, we are willing to, like, expand in different areas just to connect and whatnot. Yeah. But, because we don't want to just be limited, limited to um, Arkansas, since it is A7O, but mm -hmm. that's more so in the name, because that's where we come from. Yeah. It's the core of this group, A7O. So. Yeah. Um, but we got people watching from all over. Yeah. And here coming up soon, we will be in Missouri a few times, starting stuff. And if it go from there, we will be in Missouri a lot. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, got anything else for us? And I do feel like this is going to be good for me. I might not have talked a lot as I wanted to. Oh, you did good. But I feel like it's going to be like a stepping stone for me because, yeah. because a lot of people know me as quiet, Teriana. Like, who been to school with me? So I feel like, like, thanks, you on the podcast yeah. talking? You know, I got a little something to say. But I really have a lot to say. Yeah. I really do. I know your best friend is. I, I know. Oh, your yeah, so Celeste. <laughs> all through high school, I was growing up all together. I was quiet. I was quiet. Quietest one people ever knew. So for me to get on here and be like this, they like, okay. 
Okay, so I'm like, shit. So it he, he helped me a lot. He helped me come out my shell and talk. You were lucky to get a high from Zach. Yeah. Like if Zach, if Zach would talk yeah. to you if he really <laughs> fucked with you. That's what I feel like I feel like we were the three quietest people around, and we started the podcast. So I'm like, if we could do stuff like this, anybody can do whatever they want to do. Yes. yes. So. I think once you gotta break that barrier with me, like you gonna have to support that conversation. Otherwise, I'm just keep to myself. Yeah. That's more so. I have a lot of people. Like, I'm shy. I'm like, they come sit with us. Yeah. Just sit with us and have a conversation with, like we sitting on the couch. Yep. And, and you'll get there. Like I said, I'm like, you don't have to look at the camera. Like yeah. this here and talk and get some stuff out and it, it, it'll get there. Well, y'all saw for <laughs> first like two months, all I did was wear shades because I saw Zach do it and I was like, shit, I can hide my eyes. <laughs> no no camera has to it see. It helped y'all feel yeah, more comfortable. Yeah. And, uh, shades became the nickname, so kind of incorporated that to the show for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, you did actually really good. Yeah, we just came a long way, you know. We comfortable. We we just trying to get better and better and do more. Yeah, and I feel like going into New Year we'll, we'll be straight. Yeah, kind of going a little crazy. But no, nah, any more shout outs or? Really, I don't have none at the moment. But well, I am working on a project. This is it's a good project though. Uh, Ready? Care what kind of project that is? Podcast. Oh, definitely, okay. definitely okay. do okay. that. I tell more people all the time, like do it, do it. People will watch, people will listen, they might learn something. Mm -hmm. So definitely, definitely do it. Don't want to speak on it too much or you really want to give us an idea of what you want to do with it? Um, the point of this podcast is really like mental health issues, mm -hmm. um, self-love, because I that's something that I struggle with. Um, and that's really... I do want to talk about other things as time goes, but like for right now, that is something I want to tag into deep. And I'm telling you, it, it will blow up because like we we do, like we, we getting our female base now, but you starting out as a woman, all the women want to hear you. Yeah. And the right men with the right mindset, we going to sit down there and hear it too. Mm -hmm. So your base will grow quick. So it's something you definitely need to do. Because I do feel like my mindset, if y'all really just sit up and be around me and have conversations with me, yeah. I feel like a lot of men, I hate to say it, will gravitate towards will. how I think based on the male in my generation. Because yeah. for me to be only 20 years old, my mindset is kind of a 40-year-old mindset. And I'm saying, you're going to have people my age, 35, tapping in and listening. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, we gravitate toward that real stuff, you know. We don't want to sit down and just be on the petty stuff all day. We want to hear that real um, stuff, and you're going to bring that. So. You gonna grow pretty quick. I mean, don't don't feel alone. Like me and Zag, I, I know he's heard it a couple times, and I have. We're not our normal twenty-one year olds of this generation. And I like that. That's a flex to, yeah. for people yeah. to see. Yeah, I like that. So definitely do that. Definitely. Because our generation needs to help. Yeah, badly. They're ruthless. <laughs> Bad. Bad. They don't have no respect for themselves. <clears throat> um, the type of music that we listen to, no influence. Like, there's too much going on. Yeah. So de definitely kick that off, set, get, finish setting that up, plan it out whenever you want to drop. Whenever you drop, let us know. Yeah. We, oh, we definitely going to tune in. Oh, yeah. Definitely going to be shout out to come back on again. Um, oh, yeah. I feel like it's a stepping stone for oh, me. Oh, yeah. You see My something out Oh, yeah. Yeah, you want, you want to keep getting on, getting yourself ready for your podcast? No, hey, no. Let us know. We'll be down. And I feel like what y'all do need is different women from different perspectives. Because, yep. you know, I watch, like, podcasts on YouTube. Yeah. And a lot of times, I be liking the male's perspective than the woman's because some of the women don't be having no respect for themselves. Like, you think people supposed to support that? That's not how a woman's supposed to be. Yeah. Supposed to care, so. Man, I'm telling you. So I feel like y'all need just different women from different perspectives. Yeah. And, you know. Yeah. Like, when I tell you, I won't go ready for this one. Because like, oh, we got a female. God. Thank you. I'm I've right. been excited I've for been, this I've been so ready for that. And I like how this went. It's perfect. So. I, I pre appreciate it. Oh, no, no, you, nah, do, you, you do. do. And then, like I said, it's more, more reason to come back. So, yeah, we pre appreciate you for coming for real. So I guess we'll take it up. And y'all heard it here first. Stand on business, be talking to her. She's come <laughs> correct. <laughs> but no, nah, we out. 870. Yes, sir.